let me ask you something straight up. What actually happens to your body if you ejaculate every single day? Is it healthy? Is it quietly draining your energy? Is it boosting your performance or slowly killing your drive? Most guys feel the effects long before they understand them. You notice changes in your mood, your sleep, your energy, your confidence, maybe even your relationship, but no one ever really explains what's going on. So yeah, we're going there today. I'm Dr. Fiona, a board certified urologist and men's health specialist. I've spent many years helping men understand their bodies, fix their performance issues, and rebuild their confidence from the inside out. And if I'm honest, this is one of the most common questions I get. Men ask it quietly, like they're confessing something wrong. Doc, is it bad that I do it every day? Is this going to mess me up long term? You are absolutely not the only one wondering. In this video, I'm going to give you the full picture. The benefits of ejaculating daily, the real drawbacks, and how to figure out whether your current habits are helping your health or hurting it. By the end, you'll have a clear, calm understanding of what's happening in your body, without shame, without myths, and without guesswork. All right, let's break this down. First, I want you to know this. There is no universal right number. Daily ejaculation isn't automatically good, and it isn't automatically bad. It depends on why you're doing it, how you're doing it, and the impact it has on your body, your mind, and your life. For some men, daily release genuinely helps. For others, it creates problems they don't even notice at first. So instead of thinking in terms of good or bad, think in terms of what is this doing to me specifically? Let's start with the potential benefits. Benefit number one, mood and mental reset. Have you ever noticed how much calmer you feel afterward? That's because ejaculation triggers a powerful chemical shift in your brain. You get endorphins, which ease stress and tension. You get dopamine, which is tied to reward and motivation. You get oxytocin, which helps you feel more connected and grounded. And you get serotonin, which helps stabilize your mood. All of that together acts like a reset for your nervous system. For some men, daily release helps them feel less irritable, less wound up, and more emotionally balanced. It's not a cure for anxiety or depression, but it can definitely be one small tool for mood regulation. Benefit number two, better sleep. A lot of men notice that after sex or masturbation, they feel heavy-eyed and relaxed. That's not just in your head. A hormone called prolactin rises after orgasm, and it's associated with relaxation and sleepiness. Combine that with the stress reduction from those feel-good chemicals and you have a natural way to help your body wind down. If you struggle with racing thoughts at night, a reasonable sexual routine can help you fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. That means better recovery, better focus, and more energy the next day. Benefit number three, improved blood flow. Orgasm is not just a brain event. It's a full body response. During arousal and orgasm, your blood vessels dilate, your heart rate increases, and circulation ramps up throughout your body. This is like a mini workout for your vascular system. Good blood flow is key for strong erections. So regular sexual activity, including ejaculation, keeps those pathways active. It's one piece of maintaining healthy erectile function and cardiovascular responsiveness over time. Benefit number four, lower prostate cancer risk. This one surprises people. Large studies, including one from Harvard, have found that men who ejaculate more often, roughly 21 times or more per month, tend to have a lower risk of developing prostate cancer later in life. We don't think this is magic, and it doesn't replace checkups, but the theory is that ejaculation helps flush out the prostate. It may help clear old cells, inflammatory substances, 
and other buildup that could contribute to problems over the long term. So regular ejaculation might play a small protective role for your prostate. Benefit number five, a subtle immune boost. Some research shows that sexual arousal and orgasm can temporarily boost levels of IgA, which is one of your body's frontline immune defenders against viruses and bacteria. Lower stress levels also support immune function. So while it's not going to turn you into a superhero, regular healthy sexual activity can contribute to overall wellness. So yes, there are real potential benefits. But now we need to talk about the other side because daily ejaculation is not automatically harmless in every situation. Drawback number one, compulsive behavior. There's a big difference between choosing to ejaculate daily and feeling like you can't stop yourself. If you notice that you have to do it, even when it interferes with your work, your relationships, your sleep, or your goals, that's a sign it may be crossing into compulsive territory. Over time, Compulsive patterns can reshape your brain's reward system. Emotionally, they can create guilt, shame, and a feeling of being out of control. Practically, they waste time and energy you could be putting into other things. The key question is, am I choosing this, or is it choosing me? Drawback number two, using ejaculation as your only emotional coping tool. We all experience stress, loneliness, boredom, frustration. The issue is when ejaculation becomes your only way to deal with those feelings. If every time you're uncomfortable, you immediately go to sexual release, you might be numbing instead of actually addressing what's going on. That can block deeper emotional healing, prevent growth, and keep you stuck in the same patterns. Sexual release can be one tool, but it shouldn't be the only one. Things like exercise, talking to someone you trust, journaling, Creative work or therapy all need space too. Drawback number three, lower sperm count if you're trying to conceive. If you're not trying for a baby, you can ignore this one. But if you are, it matters. Your body needs 48 to 72 hours to fully replenish sperm. Daily ejaculation can temporarily lower sperm concentration and quality. For couples trying to conceive, Spacing ejaculations every two to three days during the fertile window often gives better results. So in that context, daily might not be ideal. It's not about quitting sex. It's about timing it in a more strategic way. Drawback number four, reduce sensitivity and desire over time. Too much repetition, especially if everything is done the same way, very fast and very often, can blunt your brain's response. Your dopamine system can become less sensitive. You may notice that it takes more stimulation to feel the same level of arousal or pleasure, or that your spontaneous desire drops. The good news is, this is often reversible. Short breaks, changing your habits, and giving your brain and body time to reset can restore sensitivity and desire. Drawback number five, performance issues if you train for speed, your body learns what you practice. If you always rush, finish as fast as possible, and use the same intense quick stimulation, your nervous system links arousal with speed. Over time, this can show up with a partner as premature ejaculation or performance anxiety. The fix is to retrain your body, slow things down, practice edging, use deeper breathing, focus on sensations, not just racing to the finish line. You're teaching your system that it's safe and normal to last longer. So where does this leave you? The real takeaway is simple. Daily ejaculation is not inherently good or bad. The important questions are, why am I doing this? How does it make me feel physically and emotionally? Is it aligned with my goals right now? Is it supporting my energy, my mood, my relationship? Or is it secretly draining me and disconnecting me? Pay attention to your body. Track your energy, mood, sleep, and libido for a couple of weeks. Try different frequencies. Try daily for a while. Then try every two or three days. Notice what feels best for you. You are allowed to experiment. You're allowed to adjust. If you notice pain, 
changes in erection quality, blood in the semen, difficulty urinating, or ongoing pelvic discomfort, those are signs you should see a doctor. Don't ignore those. But beyond that, remember this. Sexual health is part of normal human health. Asking these questions doesn't make you weak, weird, or broken. It makes you aware and responsible. I'm Dr. Fiona. Thank you for spending this time with me. If this helped you, tap like, subscribe for more men's health videos, and tell me in the comments where you're watching from. I read them, and this community genuinely means a lot to me. Your body is worth understanding. Your health is worth protecting, and your vitality is absolutely worth fighting for. Take care of yourself. You deserve it.